Hi, my name is Tony Eichel. Uh, I'm the application manager here for Geovia, uh, Surpac and Gems products. Um, I work here at the R&D department for the Dassault system. Uh, one of the major features we've added is the release, in this release is the ability to import, clean and mesh point clouds. Point clouds are points in space picked up from either a laser scanner or created by a photogrammetry. We can now import very large data sets and then create surface models or solid models from them. The benefits obviously of the rapid surveying and the reporting information in areas such as underground mines or areas that are unsafe to work in. Uh, some of the use cases include uh, aerial flyovers using drones, uh, underground cavity monitoring, there's a wide range of uses. We can also do mapping based on visual differences because we can support RGB and intensity colour points. The other major change to the software is the freeing up of the Dassault system code library that we use for mesh tools. Mesh tools are a range of functions for expanding, contracting, filtering and smoothing solids. Previously they were licensed individually, but now they come under the general solids and surface licensing, effectively available to everyone. They're very quick and very efficient in expanding and contracting shapes. They also provide smoothing and the ability to filter out some of the noise in the shapes. The obvious use cases for these include geological modelling. For example, when modelling the ore body, you need a dilution halo, you expand the solid out. That gives you the volume, volume difference between the original and the expansion. The final group of changes we've made is to support the importing and exporting of textured meshes through the OBJ format. Uh, this is a format developed by a third party company called Wavefront. It's very widely used, solar modelling format. It's used in 3D printing, visualisation, various other applications. And the benefit here it allows direct import of objects that are already precisely textured in an external system. It avoids the need for manual registration of points. The application of this is quite often in geological mapping and modelling, using a surface with a precisely draped image of the rock. The geologist is able to accurately map digitised contacts and features directly within CERPAC. It's also very useful for aerial flyovers. So you can take an aerial photograph and drape it directly over the surface. These are the main features available in CERPAC 6.8, available mid-year. If you'd like more information, just see our website.